All right, finally, we're going to deal with something called love speech, which is uh, comes off of the back of ANZ, this ANZ Bank's new marketing campaign in light of the upcoming Mardi Gras in Sydney. They have launched a campaign saying we need more love speech with the hashtag love speech. It's a campaign that they say is to highlight the hurtful effects of negative language on the LGBT community and to promote love speech instead. It includes a browser extension that you can download and it will scan the web pages that you're accessing and it will change so-called hurtful words on web pages for fun-loving emojis. I quote, there is also a downloadable guide to appropriate language to be used around the LGBT community. And there's a whole range of smartphone themes which take allegedly hurtful words, uh, slogans like marriage is between a man and a woman, which is apparently hurtful. Uh, boys should never wear dresses, which is apparently hurtful and needs to be changed. And you don't look gay and things like this. And it does little edits with rainbows and different special effects to turn them into happy statements. And, uh, and, and that's your, your smartphone theme to go as your wallpaper. And you know, as I sort of, you know, it's supposed to turn hate speech to love speech. And as I thought about this, I felt unusually well qualified to talk about love speech. Because it turns out that Christians, indeed God himself, literally wrote the book on love speech. What do I mean? Well, take a listen to this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16. Greater love has no one than this, than that someone lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, that is to love the Lord your God, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. John chapter 14, verse 23. But whoever keeps God's word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. First John chapter two, verse five. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. 1 John 4, 9. We love because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. Like I said, literally wrote the book on love speech. And I just think, if hashtag love speech is the campaign, then we should be tweeting, we should be Facebooking, and we should be promoting the eternal and priceless love of God at every opportunity that we can, because that is true love like you'll never find in this world, but which comes from God himself. I'm Mark Niles, and that was the truth of it.